I like to do a little post about free will. Uh, do you believe God gave you free will to choose? Do you believe that you have religious freedom and the free will to choose whatever religion you want to believe in? Uh, to be a Buddhist, to be Hindu, to be, to be a Muslim, pagan, Jew, whatever? It, it, do you have free will? Let's talk about free will. My son comes to me. Dad, do I have to clean my room? And I say, son, you have free will. And then the next day, I spank him. And he says, Dad, why did you spank me? I said, because you didn't clean your room. And he's, he's confused. He says, but, but don't I have free will? See, what I believe in has to be practical and has to work. You are not punished. You are not punished for free will. You're not punished for disbelieving in something when you are given the choice to believe it or not. If it is a truth, then it is up for individuals to find it themselves in their own time. It's not crammed down the throat, there's no coercion involved, and you're not punished for free will. That's not practical. It's, it's not responsible behavior. If I did that to my children, just in the example I used, you would think, wow, that's crazy to tell your children you can do what you want to and then punish them when they make a choice that you don't agree with. So it's not practical, and I don't believe in that. That's one aspect of, of free will I don't believe in. Either you have free will or you don't. It's not a law. If it was a law, you must clean your room. You don't have no choice. You must clean your room. And then if you don't clean your room, you're spanked. Well, that makes sense because you laid down the law. But if you have free will and you're given a choice, then you're not punished for choosing, uh, for having a choice that's different than what, uh, you know, what's the standard choice or what people think you should follow in. That's my post on what I believe free will should be.